100 deadly skills, skill number 61, elude ransomware attacks, which happens to be very popular these days. So we're gonna talk about the skills that you need to employ in order to hopefully defeat these guys, elude them, and don't get caught up in the scam. First of all, your emails. I, people say it all the time, do not click on an email you do not recognize. Look at the email addresses carefully, because all it takes for these guys is they switch up one letter, and now you're clicking on it because you glanced at it. Your passwords, once again, they have to be bulletproof. They need to be as long as possible, using words and phrases. You can throw in special characters, but make sure you've got a good password. Usernames, treat your usernames like they are a password as well. If you're forced to using your email address, okay, I guess you have to. But if you can make it another password, well then you're really gonna keep people out. So, you get an email, you think it's from a friend or a colleague, and you click on it. And all of a sudden, there's gonna be a message that pops up. It's gonna say basically, hey, pay us, and we'll give you back your files. Because what these viruses do is actually encrypt all your files. Then, the virus will then spread along the network inside the company that you work for. So you don't want to be the person that clicks on that email, so pay attention. What can you do right after that happens? Well, there's not a whole lot, but there is some time on your side. First, you have your Wi-Fi and your networks. If you can unplug from them as soon as possible, it may not save the terminal that you're on, but it might save the other terminals in your company. So you want to shut down and get off the network by un literally unplugging from the back of your computer or getting off the Wi-Fi, the secure Wi-Fi that your company uses. Second, you want to unplug the computer itself. Just shut it down. Don't waste time with properly shutting it down. Literally get under your desk, find the cord, and rip it out of the wall. Okay. Now the things you can do preventative before you get the bad email and hopefully that you never click on is the 3 2, one rule and it's all about backing up your information so that you can continue working. So 3 2, one number one, back up to the local computer, which all our computers already do that. Number two, back up to an external hard drive. You can set these things up and set your computer up to where everything is always backing up to an external drive that's connected to your laptop or your desktop. Number three is the cloud. Make sure everything you're doing is also saved to the cloud. By doing this, it allows you to take this desktop or the laptop, move it out of the way, put in a new one, hook up your drive, or connect to the cloud and continue working. And it should be current if you've got your settings proper. But the big things, passwords, don't click on nefarious looking emails and make sure that all of your security softwares, patches, all that good stuff is always updated on a regular basis.